Welcome to historic Plymouth, Massachusetts. Less than an hour's drive from Boston, Plymouth is a quaint seaside town of just over 60,000 people. Plymouth is known as the site of the first Pilgrim settlement in 1620, so the town's history runs deep. In this video, we will show you some of the top things to see and do when you visit Plymouth. If you enjoy this video, please tap the like button and subscribe for weekly travel content. Now let's go explore Plymouth. Downtown Plymouth has dozens of restaurants, specialty shops, and hotels which make it the perfect place to get acquainted with this coastal town. Watch the boats come and go from the harbor or meander through Brewster Gardens, a beautifully landscaped park with a path and a stream. If you're traveling with kids, be sure to spend some time at Nelson Memorial Park, which has a large playground and a sweeping ocean view. Right along the waterfront is Pilgrim Memorial State Park, which is home to the glacial boulder known as Plymouth Rock. This rock is said to mark the landing spot of the pilgrims who arrived aboard the Mayflower in 1620. A solemn and modest monument, Plymouth Rock is viewed by more than one million visitors each year. Just beyond Plymouth Rock is where you will usually see the Mayflower II, Plymouth's full-scale reproduction of the original Mayflower ship. It is one of the Plymouth Patuxent Museums, and during the season, you can buy tickets to board the ship for a self-guided tour. As you explore the ship, imagine yourself as one of the 102 passengers on that famous voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. You may be surprised how small the ship feels. Next, walk back through Brewster Gardens, following the stream uphill about 10 minutes to the Plymouth Grist Mill, another historical Plymouth Patuxent museum site. This mill is a reconstruction of the original 1636 mill that used water power to grind corn. Just a few miles outside of downtown is the main Plymouth Patuxent Living Museum, which is home to three interactive replica sites. First is Historic Patuxet, where visitors learn about the native peoples whose history in the region spans over 12,000 years. Second is the 17th century English village, complete with replica timber-framed homes and people role-playing what life was like for those early settlers. We enjoyed learning about what they prepared for meals and how they carried water to drink and bathe. Finally, take a peek inside the Craft Center, which showcases 17th century crafts like pottery and herbal remedies that were common back then. When you're ready for a long beach walk, head to peaceful White Horse Beach, just a short drive from downtown Plymouth. We enjoyed watching for seals in the shallow waves and hunting for unique stones along the shore. If you want more beaches, Cape Cod is only a 30 minute drive away. Check out the link in the description below for all of our Cape Cod Town travel videos. Plymouth has lots of outdoor activities too. Miles Standish State Forest has over 12,400 acres of protected forest and offers hiking, swimming, camping, working cranberry bogs, wildlife and more. Other local parks we enjoyed include Morton Park and Tidmarsh Wildlife Sanctuary for getting out in nature. Speaking of getting outside, we also recommend visiting a working cranberry bog while you're in the area. According to Boston Magazine, Massachusetts is home to 30% of the global cranberry crop acreage. Plus, they are a unique sight to behold. As the site of the first Thanksgiving meal in 1621, Plymouth hosts a variety of events in November each year. We highly recommend the Thanksgiving Parade, which takes place the Saturday before Thanksgiving. We also participated in the Running of the Pilgrims 5K on Thanksgiving morning, which was a great way to kick off our holiday. We know you'll love visiting Plymouth, Massachusetts. For more travel content, check out one of our other videos on your screen now and use our travel resources guide in the description below to help you plan your next trip. Happy travels!